All right, let's move on. You guys wanted to hit on it. Let's go ahead and discuss it. The Dodgers and the Astros last night. This is what baseball needs. This is what we needed the whole time. We've been discussing the Marlins. We've been discussing the, the virus. We've been discussing everything. And I am tired of it. Michael said the L.A. Rams for Aaron Rodgers, they've shown they make big deals. Now, they got way too much invested in, um, I've gone blank on his name, uh, what, uh, whatever the guy's name, the quarterback for him. Uh, they've got way too much money involved in him, and nobody wants him. So you're not going to be able to get out from under that contract. It, it'll be a hell of a lot of dead cap money. You don't want to do that. You're not going to be able to do that. So is what it is. Uh, Damien said, I don't give a damn where uh, Rodgers goes as long as he leaves the NFC North. At, Brent brought up him going to the Bears. <laughs> I, uh, I enjoyed that one. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. All right, back to Dodgers and Astros. Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly and Carlos Correa. Now, he also threw at Alex Bregman. I mean, that was absolutely insane. And the Astros had to have seen this coming. Mike C. said, Astros players acting like babies. Uh, WTF happened to words. Don't hurt no one. Uh, too much damn sensitive. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. This whole thing is bananas. Look, Joe Kelly struck out Carlos Correa, but he, he threw a fastball that made Correa duck down, and he threw another one that went over the head of Alex Bregman. He's a wild pitcher anyway. Anybody that's ever watched him knows that's what he is. I mean, he, he kind of looks like the guy from Major League, right? Um, whatever Charlie Sheen's character was in that, I can't remember. Uh, wild thing. So, it, you know what he is, and you also know, even if he is aiming at you, you have to expect that this season. Everybody's pissed off because you got caught cheating and you won a title with it. And you beat this team in the World Series. This team believes that they should have gotten that World Series and now you're playing them this season. Of course, they're going to be fired up. They're going to be pissed off. And I don't blame them at all for it. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. So, Joe Kelly strikes out Carlos Correa and looks at him and yells at him from the mound and says, nice swing, bitch. Now, that takes some nuts. That takes some balls to be able to say that. Um, Michael said, MLB needs it, but then they punish Kelly. Correa needs to be punished for walking towards the Dodgers bench. I'd say Correa is at least 50% guilty. I think, I think he's more. I think he's more than that. you got to be able to control your emotions when somebody yells at you. Period. I mean, that's all it is. Uh, Mike said the pitch to Correa was a slider. I thought Bergman got the fast one. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Uh, but I was watching it, one, because I had money on it, uh, and I took the right side, but good gracious, payout wasn't wasn't great. Minus 150 on the Dodgers last night. But, uh, but yeah, it, Kelly making the crying face, like the, the baby face to Korea, uh, I, I thought it was, it was classic. It was exactly what we needed. We needed something to happen on the field to get everybody talking about something other than this Marlins catastrophe. Uh, Michael said, how about eight games for Kelly in a 60-game season? Are you kidding me? I'm not even a Dodgers fan. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that, but eight games, not a massive ordeal. Uh, you know, he's not going to pitch every single game anyway. I, I, think, I think it's fine. I don't care. I don't believe he should have been suspended at all. I think it's absolutely ridiculous, and, and yet here we are. But I'm glad that it happened. I, I loved seeing it. I love when stuff like this happens so that we can actually discuss uh, interesting things in baseball other than, you know, the the regular stupid COVID stuff. You know, now we're off of the COVID stuff and we get to actually discuss this. This rivalry between these teams is amazing. Uh, Michael says, Kelly did what every MLB team and MLB fan wanted to do. Yeah, I think maybe this is the beginning of Rob Manfred and that bunch uh, coming out, not trying to necessarily defend the Astros, but letting them know, okay, we get it. You all want to do this, but we have to play within the game. And I, I understand where he's coming from. He's trying to take control of a situation. If I were him, I'd probably let it go. Joseph said, have you seen Kelly's fastball? Because he hasn't. Eight games, really, two. Yeah. Uh, Michael said, I'm sure Kelly would say it was well worth it. Yeah. Well worth it. Well worth it. That was a lot of fun to watch, a lot of fun to see. A lot of people don't like the Astros. I'm one of them, you know? I mean, 